This is a table saw stop block project. This guy right here. And to get that off there, you just loosen up the nut knob in the back right here. Just slide straight out like that. Okay, so you've got a one inch piece of hardware on this side. And there's two pieces of three quarter inch plywood here. You've got a thin strip of hardwood right back here, this guy right here. And that's the part that will clamp down on the fence when you tighten up this nut knob right here. It, what it does is it drives a quarter inch hex bolt that way because there's a hex nut on this piece right here. It's, it's embedded, it's kind of right in the middle of this piece. And as you're tightening this up, that forces that bolt through. And if you look look down here at, the, at this part right here, uh, as you tighten this up, you can see how that piece is moving that way. And that's the action that, that clamps down on it. This little thin piece right here is held by, well, it's gonna be tough to show it, but there's, there's two screws that are right up here at the top part that and then there's also glue on this top part down to about maybe about here. So this part up here is fixed. And, but this stuff down, this part down here is free, right? So that's what, what allows that to move that, move it that way and clamp, on, clamp onto the fence. There's some eighth inch chamfers on this side right here and on the thin strip right here. Let's see if I can show that better. There we go, yeah, right there. And the idea there is so that it's lead-in so you can just really easily slide it over the top of the fence. The way this is set up is that this surface right here is what bottoms out on the top of the fence. So you'll end up with a, so I can show it, a little small air gap down at the bottom on this side here and on the other side. And the idea there is so that you can easily slide this fence back and forth and not have it bind against the top of the table saw. And the reason why I used one inch for this piece right here is so that you could reuse the existing table saw tape measure down here. And so if this is one inch, exactly one inch or close to one inch, what you do is just add one inch to whatever dimension you want to cut. So if I want to cut a one inch piece, I'll set the, the table saw fence to two inches. And then you'll end up with a one inch piece right here. So the, the stop block is used for two main reasons. There's probably more, but the two that I can think of are the first one is is that uh, what what you do is you'll set the t the stop block up such that you'll you'll get the workpiece at the dimension you want. Then you'll start moving it forward, moving your table saw sled forward. But the the workpiece will clear the stop block before it starts to engage the table saw blade, and that's going to prevent any uh, risk of kickback. Com that compared to if you don't have a stop block and you try to you know run the workpiece up against the fence and you try to run that through that's a, a risk of kickback it's dangerous so that's that's the first reason the other reason for it or benefit of it is that once you get it dialed into the dimension that you want to cut you can run through multiple pieces quickly, you know? So you, you make one cut and you come back and you make another cut. You're removing the material, you know, safely removing the material out of the way, you know, with a push stick each time. But you can run that through and make multiple cuts of exactly the same length. And I, I, uh, I did some experimenting with this after making it and I, I cut out one inch blocks for the case where you're you're using just the fence and then when you're using the stop block and 
Uh, this stop this stop block here is is about four thousandth of an inch uh, different than if you use the fence, you know. And I, I think that's pretty close. That's close enough for me. But by you know you, you could fine tune this this one inch width here to give you uh, even more accuracy if you wanted to. I just I just kind of stopped right there because I felt like that was close enough. Uh, so yep, yeah, that's the project. By the way, uh, this this table saw sled right here, crosscut sled is uh, another video on my my channel. You might want to check that that one out as well.